Super Mario Odyssey had some insanely cool kingdoms and for a sequel they'd have to top that. So to help Nintendo and just for fun I've come up with 50 different kingdoms I want to see in Super Mario Odyssey 2. Starting off with Isle Delfino this is the one that was probably already in Mario Odyssey. It was in promotional art it probably was planned for the game but then eventually just got scrapped because they ran out of time. Next we have Mushroom Metropolis. This is what I've nicknamed the early concept art of New Donk City to look like. Basically imagine New Donk City but instead of it being styled after after New York, it's styled after the actual Mario universe. I think that's sick. Then we have a pirate kingdom. Imagine a swamp or a lagoon where different pirate ships are swimming around and every once in a while if two rival pirate ships get close enough, they start launching the cannons at each other. You can capture the cannons, capture different pirates, swashbuckle around, find hidden treasure. There's just so many ideas here. For the fourth kingdom, we have an alpine kingdom. The snow kingdom was super cool and Shaveria town itself was an awesome surprise, but honestly, nothing would be a skiing themed kingdom i don't know i think this would be sick speaking of awesome surprises though a medieval kingdom would be super awesome because not only could we get a rematch against the dragon but it would be a good way for us to get an actual typical castle style kingdom because obviously bowser's kingdom was not your typical castle level speaking of the dragon the ruined kingdom was absolutely phenomenal this is so cool but it was only a boss fight this was the coolest part of the entire game on my first playthrough i wish this was its own entire kingdom mario odyssey has had some really cool 2D sections and I'd love to see a kingdom that you know kind of builds off that even more. Maybe integrating 2D and 3D platforming in a more seamless way if that's possible. The Pixel Kingdom would be really neat. Mario 64's Tiny Huge Island has an absolutely beautiful gimmick where the level is sometimes super small and you're super big or sometimes the level is huge and you're super small. An Odyssey Kingdom like that would be so sweet. Pokemon Sapphire is my favorite Pokemon game and my favorite city in Sapphire is Fortress City. A tree house kingdom where you're living amongst the trees with wooden bridges separating different massive massive oaks this would be sick for the 10th kingdom, I'm surprised this wasn't in the game, a cavernous kingdom. I mean, 1-2 is like the second most iconic level in video game history, in my opinion. I can't believe we really didn't get any sort of underground section at all in Odyssey. Building off a cavernous kingdom, what if we got a full mining kingdom, kind of like Wario's Gold Mine or something like that? There could be different toads manning various minecarts, and maybe you could even capture the toads to move the minecarts as a way to traverse around the kingdom. The 12th kingdom is the Haunted Mansion Kingdom. The deep woods in Odyssey was super scary because you knew there was a big t-rex just you know haunting around there i'd love an actual haunted mansion style scary kingdom and i mean if only there was someone in the mario universe who dealt with haunted mansions before that you know we wanted to capture and could potentially capture in this kingdom that would be so cool a yoshi kingdom i don't even need to elaborate a theme park kingdom could go one of two ways we could either get a more basic thing like this mario party 10 board or we could go full super mario 3d world world bowser and i think you guys know which one i want toast arena and the sand kingdom was cool I love the Day of the Dead theme, but if we're gonna get another desert-themed kingdom, we gotta go in the Western Cowboy style. Donkey Kong Island would be absolutely sick. Despite not appearing at all in the game, Donkey Kong obviously had a huge presence in Odyssey just throughout New Donk City, so I'd love to see an actual Donkey Kong Island. Next up, a Stealth Kingdom. Odyssey's entire gimmick is capturing things, and that includes capturing Mario's own enemies. What if you captured some Goombas, Hammer Bros, and whatnot, and snuck around their own hideout? An entire stealth themed kingdom would be sweet. And while we're on the topic, why don't you sneak on down to that subscribe button because a high percentage of our viewers are not subscribed, so click the button if you want to. If not, no big deal, let's get into the volcanic kingdom. Obviously, there was a volcano in Luncheon, but this wasn't nearly as scary as something like this. It would be a great way for us to actually get a lava kingdom because we didn't really get that before. Next up, I want to talk about the cloud kingdom, but actually a whole kingdom and not just a boss arena. And then for the 20th, what about an art kingdom? Now, obviously, this could just be a kingdom where where, you know, the inhabitants are like paintbrushes and stuff like that. But what about a kingdom that literally looks like art? Like that one Vincent Van Gogh level from Mario Bros. U. Next, Sweet Sweet Kingdom. Wait, I've heard that before. No, seriously, I think a kingdom themed on desserts as kind of a sequel to the Luncheon Kingdom would be super neat. And then next up, what about an airship kingdom? This idea comes from Peter Chu. I had written down to do an airship kingdom, but he had the great idea to kind of add in the steampunk aesthetic, which would kick this up a notch. I'm going to be asking for a lot more of your ideas on the 
community tab of this channel. For example, I'm working on a video of 100 three-way Splatfest ideas for Splatoon 3. I have about 70 of them right now, but if you want to help me out with these final few, leave a comment down below for your chance to be featured in that video. Next up, we have a spaceship kingdom, followed by a casino kingdom, which I would love this. Next, an electric kingdom. This could feature a bunch of those electric wires that were super fun captures, and maybe some electric themed enemies. Next, the honey hive kingdom. This was one of the most requested ones because I did put out a community post asking you guys for different kingdoms. A lot of you guys wanted the honey hive kingdom or pretty much any kingdom that was a reference to an older game. So I had to throw this one in for you guys. Then we have the Nintendo kingdom. There were so many suggestions of like, oh, Legend of Zelda kingdom, Metroid kingdom, Pikmin kingdom, and those would be cool, but they're not going to do all of those. So I just threw them all together to a Nintendo kingdom because I guess that makes the most sense. Then we have a fantasy kingdom with something like fairies or pixies or elves or something like that. Then a music kingdom that could take notes. I'll see myself out from Music Park or Melody Motorway, depending on where you live, because they call them different things across the seas for some reason. A board game kingdom would be super cool, and a cartoon kingdom could also be really neat. The entire kingdom could look something like the Timeless River from Kingdom Hearts, which would be really neat if, like, it got a cel-shaded cup head, maybe old-timey style aesthetic, reminiscent of some older cartoons. That would be super cool. Next, we got a circus kingdom. The circus was, for some reason, a big, like, theme in 3D World, so I think it fits well within the Mario universe. And then we got the Comet Observatory Kingdom, another galaxy throwback. This was heavily, heavily requested. Then we have Maple Tree Way. Honestly, I didn't think about this one, but Crazy Cat 67 came in with A, a completely out of pocket profile picture. And also a great idea. An autumn themed kingdom would be super cool. Next, we have another suggestion, this time from Zach207 with a crafty kingdom. This would be very similar to Yoshi's Crafted World, and there would definitely be some neat moons to collect. So thank you so much, Zach, for your suggestions. Then the Spritzy Kingdom. I mean, come on, I'm the 3D World guy. Of course, I had to suggest that. A Golden Kingdom that pays homage to New Super Mario Bros. 2 would be neat, and also just a great way to collect coins to buy some more costumes. A Sports Kingdom was also something that was suggested pretty heavily, and whenever I hear Sports Kingdom or anything like that and Nintendo, I think Woohoo Island. So what if there was a Woohoo Kingdom, something like that? That would be insane. I know Nintendo Hero would love that. A Mushroom Kingdom would be super... Wait, no. Okay, not this one. When I say Mushroom Kingdom, I think like a power-up kingdom. Because in Odyssey, we all know that the different power-ups were actually just the captures that you could capture along the way. That's why there were no power-ups like, I don't know, a propeller suit or something like that. But what if there was one kingdom where the entire main gimmick of Odyssey being the captures was actually thrown away, and therefore you could actually get different mushrooms that gave you power-ups? The reason I want to do this is because then Mario would still have Cappy and be able to do cap jumps and all this crazy stuff with the power-up, which is obviously not possible in normal Odyssey because the power-ups are the captures and you can't throw Cappy while you're in a capture. We're winding down with the final 10 kingdoms, but some of these are honestly the coolest ones in my opinion. Starting off with the Toy Kingdom, this would take huge inspiration from Ribbon Road, and then the Paper Kingdom. I wonder if you can guess what series this would take inspiration from. A Sarasaland Kingdom was another one that a ton of you guys suggested because I guess Daisy is like a fan favorite. And then this is probably my favorite possible one that I've come up with. What about a Toad Town Kingdom? No, not necessarily this Toad Town, but a town of toads, or a town of anything, it doesn't really matter that had a giant clock in the middle. And by some sort of Mario shenanigans, this clock can send the town to the past, present, or the future. This would create all sorts of interesting moons where maybe you have to do something in the past to come forward in the present, do something in the present to come back to the future, stop something from happening in the future to protect the past. There's just so many time travel shenanigans they could do with this. Not only does this take pretty heavy inspiration from Ocarina of Time, but even more so, Banjo-Kazooie's Click Clock Woods. If you've ever played Banjo-Kazooie, I mean, this level is insane. It's basically four levels in one, one for each season, and you'll do stuff in one season that'll affect the other seasons, and then you get the rewards in said other season. It's just super cool, and I'd love to see it in Odyssey. Followed up by a Garden Kingdom, then a Trick Kingdom. What if we got, like, you know how the Boo Houses are always super confusing in 2D Mario, and, like, you never know which way you're supposed to be going and all that? What if we got one of those, but in 3D? For 47, I have a Holiday Kingdom. They could take inspiration from Merry Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. 48 is a Nuclear Plant Kingdom, because we kind of touched on that in the underground missions in Metro Kingdom. 49 is a party kingdom to pay homage to all the Mario Party games except for Super because that game sucks. And last, but certainly not least, Super Mario Odyssey ended off with a bang on the moon. What would be a better way to end Odyssey 2 than a trip to the sun? I mean, lava has always been Mario's like number one enemy. It's a one hit kill. Lava symbolizes the end of a Mario game like very few things do. And overall, it would be an absolutely insane cracked out way to end end Super Mario Odyssey 
to. So thank you guys so much. Comment down below which of these kingdoms is your favorite. And if you have more suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. I didn't expect to get as many community post comments on that community post I put out as I did. So I'm going to be putting out a lot more of those for your ideas for, you know, videos like this in the future. So make sure to be subscribed and check in on the community tab because I will be using your feedback for future videos. Thanks guys. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. I'm Thomas from the Switch Shop signing off. Peace.